Hi guys, today I'm gonna talk about mouse rapid fire in co-op. I already did one video once upon a time, but decided to update it, so here is the new one. Uh, mouse rapid fire is very useful in co-op. Uh, uh, it's uh, in many cases a faster and easier way than to use keyboard rapid fire. Uh, but first, how to set it up. So we're gonna set it up over here and then test it on this clickspeedtest.com uh, website. Uh, so go to your uh, mouse uh, software. Uh, this is mine. I'm using uh, Red Dragon Sniper now. Uh, or from mouse to mouse, it may it might vary, and from company to company, but I think it should be uh, similar. Uh, so you can see this uh, number four button over here. That's uh, a rapid fire button. If you don't have it on your mouse, then you might want to use a middle mouse button. So see, I named it test over here. Uh, click on that. Okay, I'm gonna uh, remove my uh, camera so you can actually see uh, better. Okay, it's better now. Uh, so go to macro, macro uh, manager. And for you, it will be empty over here. Uh, so you have to um, repeat this until you can't anymore. So mouse action, left click, mouse action, left click, mouse action, left click until you uh, cannot do it anymore until you reach maximum uh, number. For me, it's uh, 40 total actions maximum. So that's it here. Insert uh, default delay 10 milliseconds loops time. Uh, set it to one uh, and select this repeat run when key down and that's it so uh, click ok click apply and that should be it so let's uh, test it here so it's uh, clicks per second see 215 uh, clicks in one uh, second so restart just uh, hold the rapid fire button down okay now it's uh, it's 314 it's uh, it varies it's probably uh, to internet or, or something but it will i think always be over uh, 200 which is more than enough let's do it again this time 216 so yeah it varies but uh, it's a lot it's uh, actually more than you need so where to use mouse rapid fire uh, first strategy that it's very useful is the uh, Zeratul's uh, mass uh, cannon uh, strategy. So uh, I placed observer over here and now I'm gonna click uh, over here and as you can see they all uh, project. Uh, now this is very good uh, on maps like this where you want to project all of them at the, the same time time in the same place uh, don't use it uh, uh, if you need a little bit here a little bit there like for example on malwarfare on or uh, uh, missed opportunities in that case I don't use any type of rapid fire at all uh, but uh, this you can only uh, do with mouse rapid fire and by this I mean look at this they actually invade the personal space of uh, these uh, units. If I would use keyboard rapid fire, then each cannon would only project if there is an available space. But for this, you only need to click on uh, the free uh, space. Uh, so that first cannon is on the free space, but other can others can actually invade the uh, personal space of units uh, in that way even uh, trapping them a bit uh, they cannot only uh, be inside the structures as you can uh, see so they project themselves I even use super clock over here and uh, that's uh, pretty pretty uh, good uh, to use on this map and on some other uh, maps the same thing is with the deep tunneling the Haka's uh, worms uh, you can see I clicked here and they will all deep tunnel in this uh, place. Now the commander for which mouse rapid fire is most useful because you can uh, uh, use it for three types of his units and that's uh, statmen. First of all, infestors. Uh, so uh, as you can see, 
uh, you just click uh, where you want to send your roaches and ravagers and they will all discharge uh, very fast. You can even do it just on minimap while Micro and Gary on uh, uh, the other side of the map. You just click on the minimap where you want to send them and they will uh, send them. By the way, uh, <laughs> this is just uh, a replay bug. We didn't both play Statman. You can do that. My life was actually uh, a stuk of. Now we have Mecha Corruptors. <coughs> now they have uh, this ability called TerraClean uh, Solvent, which is uh, uh, more useful than uh, Caustic Spray, which is the similar ability in Versus mode, because Caustic Spray you can only use on structures, while here in Co-op uh, this uh, TerraClean Solvent ability you can use on anything uh, on the ground, so units included. Uh, uh, it emits a solvent stream that deals 10 damage per second for 3 seconds, uh, then increases to 50 damage per second, so... Uh, uh, it's a lot of uh, damage, but you have to be careful of a few things. So, to use this ability, you have to shift click, uh, otherwise, only one uh, of the corruptors will uh, use it. So, uh, you need to hold shift and then use mouse, rap mouse rapid fire to click on uh, this uh, train to uh, kill it. Uh, and if you are uh, shift clicking, that means that unit uh, will start performing that action only when it's done what it's currently doing so uh, that uh, means that you have to uh, send it away so for example like i'm clicking first here for them to come here and then shift clicking to uh, this uh, train uh, so they will then uh, use it uh, and uh, you also have to be careful if you're using it on trains which are uh, moving uh, targets uh, that they uh, use it into the incoming train to ensure the maximum duration of ability because if the wagon on which they are pissing, well, we call it colloquially pissing, um, if it uh, gets out of the range, uh, range is like to, maybe like to here, uh, from the, from where they are now, so it will then stop, of course, so you want to uh, have maximum duration. So you will now see I have 60 uh, corruptors over here and they will now start using it uh, like now you can see that now they are using this ability on this uh, wagon and you can see that it uh, will go down in like maybe 9 or 10 seconds so that's uh, pretty powerful. Now if you're using it on uh, tall structures like uh, uh, void slivers or void shards. Uh, then, of course, corruptors can also attack these targets uh, with their auto attack, like uh, air units. Uh, but I've compared, and uh, I mean, even uh, if you have like uh, this number of corruptors, they can destroy any target even with their auto attack pretty fast. But uh, pissing is still a lot uh, faster. You can even use cluster busters, of course, but uh, that's not uh, uh, advised because that's for the that's the uh, splash damage ability, so that's best used for on uh, the attack uh, waves, while on the high HP targets like Void Shards and Void Slivers, the fastest way to kill them is by using the Terra Clean uh, Solvent ability. And now we have these famous uh, Mecha Battle Carrier Lords. Uh, <laughs> you can run a marathon while pronouncing this, so let's just call them Dude Lords. Uh, so I will use this... Uh, Stet Mato Cannon aka Amato using the mouse uh, rapid fire over here. Again, you need to shift click so you can see that they are already uh, fighting this train. So I have to send them away, otherwise, they will just continue fighting and then after they are done. Uh, use the, the stat meta, but then train, will, train would be uh, dead already, so it doesn't make any sense. Uh, send them away, and then uh, shift click, and you can see that they are now uh, discharging these Yamatos. And the good thing is they have a maximum pool of 400 energy, and it costs 100, so they will keep, um, so they can uh, fire each of them a total of 4 Yamatos, and they will keep firing until, uh, well, they run out run out of energy or the target is uh, dead it will not be overkill they will stop when target dies so you see some of them still have uh, 
uh, energy. They can uh, hold even more with uh, maximum energy uh, pull uh, mastery, but then they will uh, recharge slower because then you would not have uh, stats on bonuses. So I, I like to always have stats on bonuses unless you, of course, um, unless I'm uh, doing bane links. So uh, yeah, this is uh, pretty good. So you can um, kill chains pretty fast with it because each brutalord like. Uh, he holds uh, four Yamatos, energy, enough energy for four Yamatos, that's uh, 1200 uh, damage per uh, dude lord. And finally we have uh, Swan Cyclones, I have 16 Cyclones here, which I will uh, use to kill this uh, Voidchar. Normally you don't have uh, 16 Cyclones in 3 minutes 21, nor uh, almost 50,000 uh, resources, uh, but uh, now I am using money and fast build cheat codes on Magura's map to actually be able to show you the trick faster. Uh, some people consider Cyclones bad units, I don't think they are bad, they are actually pretty good, but you have to of course use them uh, carefully uh, and uh, they have uh, this ability called lock on uh, which deals a uh, thousand damage over 20 seconds so that's 50 dps uh, which is uh, actually a lot of uh, damage and they also have a built-in anti uh, anti overkill mechanism uh, so only one cyclone will uh, lock on a single enemy uh, unit automatically. That is to prevent, uh, for example, like 10 cyclones locking on a single zealot or something, which would be a waste. So uh, if you want to uh, use uh, uh, lock on of multiple cyclones on a single target, you have to do it manually and mouse rapid fire comes in very handy here. You also have to shift click. So I will be now using these cyclones to kill this uh, void shard and you can see that it will go down in just a few uh, seconds. So this is uh, very uh, useful uh, and that's pretty much it. Uh, now you can use the mouse rapid fire for some other things uh, like uh, for example corrosive balls with uh, abattoirs uh, ravagers or um, like uh, yeah, Rainer's uh, Battlecruiser's Yamato or something like that, but it's not so impactful. Uh, and you can also use it to pop uh, these critters uh, on the map. Okay, on this here, there is no critters, but you can pop them. Uh, usually you need to, like, uh, no, with normal clicks, uh, uh, you need to click, uh, I don't know how many times in the rapid succession, succession to pop them. Unfortunately, in StarCraft 2, they don't detonate a nuke like they did in Brood War, if you remember. Uh, that was very cool animation. Of course, it didn't do any damage, but it looked pretty cool. Uh, now, for the end, just one uh, thing that I have to say, and that is when you are using... Uh, uh, mouse uh, rapid fire your cursor will not be able to move like this it will be immobile so you cannot use it to swing your mouse to do something like for example warping uh, uh, multiple protos units uh, very fast in a power field for, to do that uh, you have to use keyboard rapid fire and for some other things that require your mouse swinging uh, otherwise you can use this uh, mouse rapid uh, fire so uh, uh, that's uh, pretty much it for this video like um, i hope you found it uh, educative and entertaining uh, you can support me on patreon if you like what i'm doing or need some help with uh, a call up uh, uh, and please like and subscribe if you like this video and uh, thank you for watching see you guys